All right, as most of you guys know, I have uh, cleaned out my uh, request section to make some room for other requests. And uh, as many of you know, I have been playing a lot in Blender. And uh, I had a number of requests for this distribution. This is Blender Ubuntu, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Requests. Oh, you guys are going to be keeping me busy all weekend here. But uh, here it is, uh, Blender Ubuntu. Okay, and it looks like she. This one is uh, based on Ultimate Edition. Now, um, I just downloaded this today, actually, and um, well, let me go ahead and uh, pull this up here and. Unfortunately, it's not in English, and it didn't give me an option to choose a language. I'm looking at this in live CD mode. But pretty much here, uh, without going into all the fancy schmancy details and that sort of thing, this looks like this is built on Ultimate Edition, which is a great distribution for beginners. But its main focus is for all of you 3D modelers and graphics artists that are out there. And this comes pre-installed with Blender. Uh, this is an older version of Blender, I uh, might add. This is the Character Studio software. And um, this is something I really have to look at. Uh, so I'm glad that I get these uh, requests coming in because now I'm going to be doing a search for Character Studio to see if I can find this and run this in my uh, arch system. So this, thank you for all of you who suggested this distribution because I didn't even know about this piece of software. So this is something I'm definitely going to be looking forward to. And uh, if I can find an updated version of that, I will actually review this software after uh, doing some mucking about with it. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And then, of course, this also comes with Blender, but it is an older version. It is not the latest and greatest version. But the nice thing about this is, for this particular version that this comes with, and let me uh, pull up uh, the um, version number. Uh, this is in the uh, 2.4 series. Yes, 2.49a. So there are tons of tutorials on YouTube if you wanted to use this particular version. So that's always a plus. And then, of course, you can open up uh, anything that you make in this version with the newer version of Blender. Personally, I prefer the workflow of the newer version. All right. And uh, then, of course, you have a number of other uh, tools and everything uh, for graphics. Uh, you get FSpot, the GIMP, of course, Inkscape, wonderful vector graphics uh, drawing program as well. And, of course, uh, you get a standard complement of other things that you would need, such as your web browser, your, uh, your BitTorrent clients, your um, instant messaging, and that sort of thing. Um, nothing really special about this distro other than this was put together with the graphics developer in mind and the 3D modeler. So, um, all in all, I think this is fairly nice here. It's just that um, I wish the live CD gave you an option to choose a language, and maybe that was something that I open, overlooked. It had a unique splash screen. Uh, they called this uh, Blender Studio, but when I had my requesters uh, uh, named this Blender Ubuntu, and uh, I did a search for it, and this is what I found. I downloaded this off of SourceForge, I believe. And I'll have a link in the show notes for you as well. All right, well, that's all I have on this one. But the thing is, uh, Character Studio, I will be looking for that, and I will be reviewing that as an added bonus. All right, well, that's all I have on this one for right now. Thank you all for watching, and I've got more requests headed your way. Mm -hmm.